Hey friends, welcome back to another episode, another channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Alfred. I do different types of contents, um, whether it's motivational, whether it's lessons that I've learned, whether it's things that I'm reading, whether it's productivity and all these kind of things. If you're into that, definitely then consider subscribing. <clears throat> so today I just want to talk about my kind of episodes, what's on my podcast list, what I listen to most of the time, probably things that you could listen to as well. And I've kind of broken down into a number of sections. So the first section is kind of startups and businesses. So the first podcast that I would recommend that you listen to is How I Built This. This is by a gentleman by the name of Guy Raz. And he basically talks about two entrepreneurs and different people who started different businesses, um, like from Starbucks to whoever you can think of, and sort of kind of asking them what they encountered on their journey, challenges, ups and downs of their businesses, um, success stories, and even some of them in terms of acquisition, how they went through, and how most of them actually talk about how they sold their business. So it's a very good podcast if you're uh, into startups, if you're doing a business, if you're thinking of doing a business, and basically if you're actually even running a business and you'll probably learn uh, different lessons uh, from from uh, from basically listening to this podcast. So Starbucks is being interviewed there, Ben and Jerry's, any big brand has actually been interviewed by Guy Raz. The other person I would probably talk to, uh, talk about other podcast is by the name is How How I Fail or How to Fail by Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Day. She kind of focuses her lens on failure uh, instead of success. What failure teaches you, and diff- so talking to athletes, politicians, and all these kind of people. And her lens is more from a, from a failure perspective. What can you learn from failure? What um, uh, what uh, this failure has actually taught um, uh, different different people. The other one that I feel is a very nice podcast is actually called Business Wars. Okay, it's very enacted but very dramatic. But it actually takes you through uh, different businesses, um, how they are competing. For example, Uber versus Lyft. Um, that's kind of a very big business business war between the two, especially when they are starting up. Um, they really they they kind of went through different. Um, was to outcompete each other and eventually of course uber is big but it was a very very big fight you also go through um uh different different businesses from uh Dom- i'm sorry starbucks and uh i can't remember the coffee company there was also another coffee company that was competing with with um starbucks there was also pizza company so it's very good uh, uh business uh, uh, podcast to listen to if you if you really want to inter- uh, you're interested in terms of competition so if you're into food or anything related to that then i would recommend two podcasts one is called gastropod basically talking about the history of food and different recipes for example how did pizza come about um, the history of chicken tikka talking to different chefs and it's really an amazing uh, to understand the backstory behind different types of foods and how they came about this is one amazing podcast that actually you should listen to the second one is called Splendid Table as well. Uh, they talk about I mean, interviewing different chefs and all these um, uh, people, different preparations, me- uh, methods, how to really prepare food in a different way, understanding the science behind certain recipes. Yeah, so if you love food and even interested in different recipes, actually trying to have an understanding of ingredients as well this is a good podcast for you to listen to. In terms of work and uh, work culture and actually just trying to improve your workplace or even trying to get tips if you're any researcher or looking certain things like that, I want to recommend two two podcasts in this category. Number one is Eat, Sleep, uh, Work, and then Repeat. It's the name of the podcast. It's actually focused on culture of workplace. So this this podcast host kindly interviews people um, in their workplaces and the different things that they've improved in, whether it's an, from an individual perspective or from a, actually from a business perspective to make workplace a better place, a better place to work. The other one is called 80,000 Hours Podcast. Just as the name says, it's actually a bunch of researchers, I think, from Oxford um, who study different individuals, study different things and kind of talk... Um, encourage philosophical debate. It's actually a very long podcast, uh, normally two to three hours kind of a podcast and encourages conversation, encourages uh, thinking, meta uh, 
recognition and all these kind of things and philosophical debates. So if you really want to, in, uh, if you're into such kind of content, then you should watch, you should listen to this 80,000 podcast. And actually what I love about it is the research that is done behind the conversation. So it's something more of a deep thinking um, podcast and you really learn a lot from this podcast as well. So I would love that you'd listen to those two podcasts if you're into work. If you love tech, then these two podcasts will actually interest you very well. One is called Waveform, obviously by Marquez. Marquez is one of the big YouTubers that you know all around. And he interviews um, uh, different people. Like last week, I think he was interviewing um, the founder of Waddle. Waddle is one of the big games uh, trending online these days. Um, he also interviews quite a number of people um, you know, on YouTube and different tech podcasts and kind of discusses different topics. So if you're really into tech, I would recommend one is Marquez um, Waveform. The second one is called Exponential View. And this is also by a, by a tech, tech entrepreneur and sort of has newsletters as well. How I found about him is actually through newsletters and talks about a wide range of, 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 of topics. And from a well-researched perspective, for example, AI and the future of AI and how it's going to impact as well. And if, if you love, if, if definitely if you love tech, but actually from a research perspective, then I would actually recommend Exponential View. You really learn a lot from that. The last category, and I love this category, it's anyone who loves curious, who questions everything. Um, these three podcasts will really, really, really fascinate you. One is called 99% Visible. It actually takes a topic. For example, have you ever asked yourself, for example, the origin of a button, the origin of your pocket on your, on your shirt or your, or your jeans? And it takes one topic for 20, 30 minutes and actually dips down, uh, uh, kind of goes through a deep dive on the history of that, talking about different things on invisible, uh, that you actually normally assume about. They could pick a topic, for example, like the socket. How did it evolve? Why, why it came about? Why they, um, how they were able to modify it? And just go through the topic from an invisible perspective, things that you normally take for granted. The second one is called tip-off. Tip-off is from a journalistic angle. So they talk about, um, for example, it's investigative journalists who um, talk about how they came across certain stories, how they were sort of led to certain stories. For example, Panama Papers. Panama Papers is huge because it exposes offshore banking and all these kind of things and people, leaders were storing money in different countries and kind of evading taxes and all that kind of thing. So these journalists, this podcast will, for example, pick that topic and talk about how they started investigating Panama Papers and the history behind it and the backstory, how they got the tips, tip off to start investigating the story. So that's one good story for even for journalists or anyone who is curious about. The last one that I will talk about in that category is also called Freakonomics. Freakonomics is huge because they've written a number of books about that and, and just look at global economic trends and businesses and actually look at it from a different angle because sometimes, yes, economics can be complicated if you look at it from an economics perspective, economist perspective. However, if you look at it from a different lens and they kind of talk about in a very simple way uh, that any normal human being can understand how different things impact the economy, taxes, fiscal policy, and all these kind of things, and curves, supply, demand, curves, and all of what you know about economics anyway. Um, they break it down and actually try to make it so simple for you. Yeah, so those are the podcasts that I, 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 I listen to. Uh, I don't know what you love. I'd love to know what you love, what you listen to, and probably comment down below. I'd love to know your choices as well. And hey, maybe I might learn one or two uh, things from you. Till then, cheers, bye.